Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. The next Power BI interview question which you may be asked is how to get distinct count of two columns. So, so what we want to know here is how do you take distinct count of two columns? And what we want here is these two columns should be from two different tables. So basically I have an item table and I have geography table. These are two different dimensions joined with the sales table. How do I get that? What is the distinct combination of those columns is available with me? So how to do that? So the answer is the Power BI allows you to calculate distinct combination of two columns by using DAX function summarize in calculation or by concatenating the two columns into the calculate column and then use distinct count function in the calculations. So the easiest way is distinct count function. You say summarize. You have to take the center table if they are coming from dimension. Both of them are in this case coming from dimension item brand and geography. If they are coming from the same table, you can take the that particular table. If they are from let's say geography table, both of them instead of taking the sales or the center fact table, you could have taken geography table. But in this case, I'm taking the center fact table in the table expression and in the group by sections, I am taking item brand and geography state and I'm using summarize, which is going to give me distinct values of item brand and geography state. And then I'm counting that to get the overall distinct counts. Here I'm using count rows and summarize to get my distinct count. Now let us see this in action on Power BI desktop. I'm on Power BI desktop now. Here I'm going to add a new tab. This new tab I'm going to call Q62, question 62. I'm going to add brand from item and geography state. And I want to know what is the distinct combination count and that too what is available inside my fact means when I put anything from the fact let's say gross now gross doesn't have any filter as of now it's not going to filter the data it's just going to ensure that the distinct combination where the sales data is present it is available now what is the count of that distinct combination of brand and state I want it to for that I'm going to create a major to create a major right now I can see new major option under the home tab I click on that and let's name it as distinct count of two and we will use count rows let me make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it count rows summarize here the sales is my center table sales comma item brand is in my visual that's what i want here and then i need next column which is geography state how does summarize function work so summarize functions take a argument and a table and then group buys and then later on we can also use the combination of name expression to give the majors or the calculation which can ultimately result in something which is very similar to majors or a calculation which can get summarized on these group buys. So group buys and the name expression and those expressions should give the data based on these group buys. So then there that's where we need aggregation or we need majors. Geography state. I'm going to close summarize. I'm going to close count rows also. Press enter. It created a new major. Let me bring that into the visualization and grand total of the visualization is 442 and if, even if I put it on a card visual it should show me the same number yes it is showing me the same number 442 on a card visual also it means I am getting the correct values of the combination and if you want to validate maybe you have to download it in an excel sheet and validate it if you want to get distinct count of more than one column this is one of the option which you have and sometimes we use values and count rows and summarize and count rows in place of distinct count because it may provide us a better performance so that is another thing you can go ahead and explore out so this is how you're going to answer this question so go ahead and try this out thank you for taking time to watch this video your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series if you have any question or topic you would like me to explore in this series please let me know in the comments below your support is truly means the world to us it's the reason we create and share these videos if you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more please consider liking sharing and commenting it helps us immensely until next time keep learning and stay connected thank you